My name is Luis and I'll be your captain and storyteller aboard the Snow White. For your safety, please remain seated, keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the boat at all times. And please don't mind the children so our story does not take any unexpected turns. Now many like to travel to magical places, whether it's using Tinkerbell's pixie dust or falling down a rabbit hole. But our friend here, Monster the Whale, is going to be taking us to a magical place called Storybook Land. Now if you thought Monster the Whale was scary, on our left hand side is going to be the cave of the big bad wolf who is constantly chasing after three little pigs who luckily live across the way in the houses with one made of straw, one made of sticks, and one made of wolf proof bricks. That was our story to the strange turn in the English village where our friend Alice lives in one golden afternoon part of the white rabbit on the rabbit hole falling down into Wonderland. Now, if that's on your cup of tea, on our right hand side is going to be Lemon Park, where our friends Peter Pan, Michael, John, and Wendy flew over to Neverland with a hump of Tinkerbell and a pixie dust, wishing that would never have to grow up. <laughs> Straight ahead is going to be the enchanted city of Agrabah, where our friends Aladdin and Jasmine first met each other in the marketplace, fell in love, and lived happily ever after on top of the Sultan's Palace. Love shines so bright, just as the twinkling lights above us. These are the same art toys that Princess Jasmine and Aladdin got on their magic carpet eyes over sideways and under to a whole new world. Straight ahead is going to be the Cave of Wonders, where our friend Aladdin discovered a magical lamp with a genie inside that granted him three wishes. Shall we all make a wish inside and see if it comes true? Our friend Snow White had also made a wish after she left in the evil queen for a safe place to live. Luckily, she stumbled upon a small cottage in the forest home of the seven doors to the right. And on our left hand side is going to be the blue chateau, where Cinderella lived with the wicked stepsisters and mother, who forbade her to go to the ball that night. But Cinderella had so much fun, she stayed past midnight, causing her carriage to turn back into a pumpkin, where she could still be on top of that bridge. Now many dream of a happily ever after, one of the dream of drifting off to sleep on a quinta bed of flowers, just at the one in our left hand side, inspired by our 1933 cartoon by the by And thanks to Tinkerbell and the rest of the garden fairies, all the plants and flowers here at Story Bookland are 100% real and will never have to grow up. Straight ahead is going to be Toad Hall, but sorry folks, it sounds like Mr. Toad is at home right now and off on a wild adventure to nowhere in particular. On our left hand side is going to be the Kingdom of Arendelle, where sisters Princess Anna and Elsa discover something more powerful than Elsa's ice magic, the power of love. And straight ahead is going to be a village where a woodcarver named Geppetto wished upon a start to make Pinocchio a boy after he saved up for the Bunny of Monstro. The blue fairy granted up wish and Pinocchio became a real boy after all. Uh, uh, on the right hand side is going to be Prince Eric's castle where he met the little mermaid named Ariel who was to be part of our world. That she was part of the underwater city of Atlantica, which you'll be able to see behind the magic waterfall. Maybe. 
Now when our story comes to an enemy or precious off, please remain seated, keep your hands on your fingers, keep sunable at all times, and please enjoy the rest of your day here at Disneyland.